everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Chrisan, and you're in another reaction video. But if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Chrisan. I do a lot of these reaction videos, music videos, beauty videos, and so much more. You can check out one by subscribing down below or clicking the click or clicking some of my videos up there. So today is Espa episode one, Black Mamba, SM Culture Universe. So I have heard so much about it ever since they've been preparing for the comeback uh, for the debut of Espa. They they actually opened a new world in their company's universe. So that's the SM Culture Universe. And as far as I know, SM has been planning this ever since the debut of NCT. Ever since EXO. Because I noticed like from EXO, they created a world where they had superpowers. Right? And in retrospect, Red Velvet had their own world as well. So if you also see their logos now, they're kind of like different kingdoms. I don't know, that's just me, but you know, that's what I see. So, um, now they're building on it. They're building on it, and Espa, they have counterparts called Eyes, and they're in the sink, which is the. Oh, sink, I think, sorry. Sink is when they have to go back into the that world, and Kwangya is like the universe. So, you can hear this mentioned in so many songs, in a lot of the songs, actually. And there are theories that I have seen very lightly on TikTok, but I want to see what I'm going to result from this. I am not a heavy, heavy SM stan, but I do watch their stuff. So it's 10 minutes. Pray for me, guys. Let's go. Let's watch this. Whew. Okay. Also, it's surprising. They're like really expanding into this franchise. Sort of like what they did with Avengers. They're building on it. They're building it with each group they, they come out with, and in the end, Avengers, you know. I mean, the title alone, but let's see. Where? Where did we come from? Is this Karina? Yeah, it is Karina. A new study of single phenomena has been published, and it's a hot topic. Oh, they're really making it into a series. This is really interesting. This is a really good marketing. It's really interesting. A E O E. A snake. Wait. Mm hmm. I. 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 우리가 일상에서 올리는 모든 데이터에 의해 형성되는 인격을 지닌 또 다른 존재야. 즉, 자신이면서 자신이 아니기도 한 거지. 일부 사람들은 자신의 아이를 인지하지 못하는 경우도 있고 또 다른 일부는 자신의 아이와 활발한 교류를 시도하기도 해요. 이제껏 보지 못했던 이 새로운 존재를 우리는 어떤 시각으로 바라봐야 될까? It's interesting now that they're having the, the eyes come out. Because if they, they see the eye, the, the sinkhole is expanding, right? There's gonna be more eyes somewhere. Just a theory. Yeah, 
Oh, Ning Ning's so cute. She looks like a little kitten. Ning Ning, where are you? So, let's start the show. Okay. Okay. She looks like a, she looks like an AI just sitting there. Mana. My existence exists present. Oh, that's a really pretty picture. Wow. Okay. I는 우리 자신이 올린 데이터를 기반으로 이루어진다는 okay. 사실이야. 즉, 자기 자신과 흡사한 형태를 이루고 있다는 거지. 저희의 데이터를 만들어졌다고 해서 그게 곧 저희는 아니잖아요. SNS에는 저희가 잘 나온 사진을 올리기도 하고 부정을 하기도 하고 저희보다 예쁘고 우월할 수도 있는 거잖아. 뭐 그런 시각도 있을 수 있어. 우리가 의식하든 의식하지 못하든 실제와는 다른 정보를 올릴 수도 있지만. 결국엔 그것 자체도 나라는 사실을 받아들여야 돼. 우리가 아이를 만들었지만 너희의 욕망, 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 
just at the end, or is there something? Oh, there's more. Okay, there's more at the end. Okay, I thought it was done. Okay, let's see. Next. So it's like a comic? but that's really interesting okay so um, let me get this straight <laughs> so this is sort of like they're setting the stage of what is to come which is I'm pretty sure the rest of the career of Espa and perhaps every other SM artist in existence under the company but this is really interesting because Black Mamba is that form that has no origin or whatever and they're out to destroy the existence of I. So as you know like the eyes are sort of like beings that were formed out of technology because we use technology every day. So imagine if you're posting on SNS every single day, out of the data you're posting, that forms an eye. And later on like they come out of the sink so sync is sort of like the limbo between worlds i guess that that's how i'm getting it before they enter the real world and kwangya is probably like where everything originated from that's how i see it it's really interesting because i can't really comment much on it it's just that i can't wait to see how they're going to expand on this because it's a long process a long plan but if executed well, this could very well be the biggest like Avengers happening in K-pop. No other group has ever done something like this. There are there are a handful of groups that do have lore, uh, lore um, infused in their groups, like um, Luna. Luna has been building the group from solo members to units to the actual group and there's a whole story with their universe. That's one. But did you know that Lee Su Man actually helped Luna get created? They were like the basis to Espa. Another group that also has lore is um, G-Friend. They also have that as well. Other groups, I'm pretty sure there are more groups. Um, like I know Astro kind of has that, but it's not as evident as this. So it's really interesting. It's really interesting. That's all I can say. I can't wait to see how it's gonna turn out because this time the eyes are actually talking and you know they're actually interacting with their real selves. So I can't wait to see how it's going to turn out. Um, I'd love to know what you guys thought about it. Um, did you guys enjoy it? Of course, this was just a teaser. They aren't giving much away. It's just more cryptic messages for you guys, for the fans to figure out. But that's all the fun, right? So please comment down below what you guys thought about it. Also, 
what is your favorite part and who is your favorite eye? Love to know that. Um, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up, a subscribe, and click the click the notification for updates. And I will see you guys next time.